Alright, back again everyone. So, uh, I've got some interesting stuff that I've figured out and uh, just want to pass on. And um, some new things coming up soon. So, uh, here we've got kind of just a cleaned up version and slightly rearranged. I noticed in the past that I had the yoke winding uh, transformer always in a different place than the original builders had uh, shown. So I moved that up close to the duty end of the uh, uh, board there. And then the low voltage side, I tried to keep the uh, transit or the MOSFETs and control uh, just the push pull kind of <laughs> joke of a little thing there. Uh, but it's just been bulletproof and seems to be really running great. But uh, uh, so then down here, just the uh, Slayer, Catcher, Exciter kind of circuit, single transistor, uh, the 2N5200, big, big square guy, and uh, just a positive negative across uh, 500 nanos, and uh, some zeners, some resistors, and a potentiometer just to bias it, and uh, power supply, uh, smoothing capacitor. So right now, Tesla's not on, and uh, it's nice that it's kind of staying quiet right now. But, um, so, we've got this ferrite rod through the center of the whole thing, and uh, it actually ends at a certain place, which is very precise where that needs to be. And uh, the position of the primary at the same time has to be really uh, in a certain spot. So you'll notice it's not even on. The windings right now is where it runs best. But right now the Tesla is not on. And so um, this is just the push-pull, which is fairly dim compared to... Uh, so now with the camera's probably dimming, but um, yeah, you can hear the kind of radio sound coming from somewhere. Seems like it's coming from primary and secondary here, but uh, anyway, I've figured out some interesting things on searching for the tune, uh, so aside from basically going by uh, the 2 megahertz as the starting point, and then designing the grenade by length of 37.5 meters, and uh, the bifiler wrapped on top of that section of the grenade is 18 and a 0.75 meters. That's just a single quarter wave of the 2 megahertz. Uh, with the ferrite in there, it lowered the frequency of everything, but uh, it seemed to do it all at the same time for everything, so um, yeah, it didn't seem to matter too much. Anyway, we've got uh, just single wave rectification and uh, 91 volts uh, coming across the uh, lights there um, on the 110 volt lights so I'd say it's more or less closer to the fully lit side and uh, so we'll listen for that sound when we turn off Tesla again Yeah, so it's a very interesting sound, and so when I detune off of that, oh, so I guess first thing is uh, this Wema cap being uh, 470 nanos, and that was always a very noticeable thing, uh, which ran off of the three coil, uh, the three turns off the uh, yoke here, uh, series into this guy, and then into the bifiler coil and then completing at the other end of the uh, three turns there. So we'll remove this capacitor back on back off <laughs> so that's actually what I was tuning for uh, once 
the uh, distance and coils were set and everything. Uh, the by filer capacitor, uh, just grabbing onto the uh, across the capacitor and watching for uh, coincidentally around 15 kilohertz. So uh, on the Ruslan, one of the Russian uh, not translated videos, uh, I did translate uh, the captions to English, and um, he was saying that uh, 15 kilohertz. One five kilohertz was what he was running on the output, and so when I turn off Tesla here, fifteen point seven, fifteen point eight kilohertz, incredible. And this is like bang on what uh, Westland was describing. Anyway, just wanted to share that, and then coming up soon uh, with this exact tuning all set up, I've got a new driver board that I'm experimenting with before I show that. But uh, yeah, a friend of mine is a really good builder, and he's producing these, and um, so we've got a push-pull driver synchronized with Tesla push, uh, pulse interrupt. So pretty soon I'm going to be using this driver on uh, the fully tuned uh, driver board here. And uh, in the meantime I've also designed some coils uh, which uh, can ring at 800 kilohertz. So the length is a lot bigger but uh, that's what I'm working with uh, with this guy because of the one megahertz uh, limit on the Tesla driver, which is actually a push-pull uh, situation, which is really interesting. So, yeah, working with that, and once I get that all figured out, I'll uh, do another video pretty soon. So I hope to see uh, this guy running on a battery in self-loop <laughs> shortly. Anyway, talk to you guys then. Hey.